We begin with some major developing news. The home and office of President Trump's personal attorney have been raided by federal agents. Michael Cohen has admitted to paying porn star Stormy Daniels $130,000 just before the 2016 election. It's not clear if the FBI raid is connected to that payment or if this is more closely connected to the Mueller probe. But we know Mr. Cohen's business records have also been seized as well as some of his personal communications with President Trump. Joining me now on the phone is CBS News Justice and Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Pegues. Jeff, thanks so much for being with us. What more can you tell us about the documents that appear to have been seized from Mr. Cohen? Well, according to Michael Cohen's attorney, Stephen Ryan, he's a D.C.-based attorney, he says that what was taken in these in connection with these warrants are protected attorney-client communication between a lawyer and his client. So in other words, what Ryan is saying is that uh, federal officials have seized communications between uh, himself and uh, perhaps Michael Cohen. It sounds like Michael Cohen. But to whether this is related to the Mueller investigation or the Stormy Daniels case, it looks like this is related to the Mueller investigation. Obviously, the special counsel who's investigating whether the Trump campaign coordinated with Russian operatives, because in his statement, Stephen Ryan says that uh, he has been advised by federal prosecutors that this New York action, these warrants, uh, came in part because of a, of a referral from the office of the special counsel. Is it possible that this could be related to several investigations at once? It is possible that they are working in tandem uh, for some odd reason. Uh, but it, it looks like, just based on this statement from Stephen Ryan, and of course this is still developing, but it looks like he believes this is... Uh, connected to the Robert Mueller investigation. Now, I've been in touch with Cohen throughout the last several months, and he and both his attorney, uh, they both say that they have been cooperating with the special counsel investigation. And so uh, this seems to have come as quite a surprise. Well, earlier we were speaking with Vinu Varghese. He's a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor. And, and he said as a former prosecutor, Mr. Cohen's story about paying Stormy Daniels $130,000 unbeknownst to the president and out of his own pocket just didn't smell right to him. Um, so do you think that that could also be part of what's going on here? It may be. Uh, Michael Cohen, just to give you a little background, he is someone who is close to the president. He has been uh, working with the president for the last several years and uh, considers himself a, a close associate of President Trump. And so uh, dating back to president's time in, in the private sector and business, Michael Cohen was there. He was involved in many of these deals. Mm -hmm. uh, and so he is at the intersection of a lot of what President Trump did before he became President Trump. Uh, so could this be tied to Stormy Daniels or could it be tied to other business dealings? We just don't know. But it seems to me, uh, based on this statement from Stephen Ryan, Michael Cohen's attorney, uh, they believe that this is somehow connected to the uh, Office of Special Counsel Investigation. Stephen Ryan seems uh, to be incensed or at least is uh, taking issue with the fact that investigators got a warrant and seized these records. He says in a statement, these government tactics are also wrong because Mr. Cohen has cooperated completely with all government entities, including providing thousands of non-privileged documents to the Congress and sitting for depositions under oath. So he seems to imply that Mr. Cohen would happily give over whatever documents or correspondence investigators want other than what they consider privileged. So is this about the question over privileged correspondence? Well, this is about these warrants uh, that, that have, it seems, caught Mr. Cohen and his attorney off guard, because as he said in that statement, they have been working with the Office of Special Counsel, at least in their view, over the last several months. So is this the special counsel sending a message to Michael Cohen and his attorney? We'll, we'll have to see. 
Uh, but this is something that clearly they were caught off by and caught off guard by Mr. Cohen and his, his attorney, Stephen Ryan. And you can you can see that in the statement that they released. Yes, they do seem to have been caught off guard indeed. Well, Jeff Pegues, our Justice and Homeland Security correspondent, thank you.